Oh, what's wrong, buddy? I forgot that Chef Antonio and I are at war. Metaphorically, I mean. Don't worry, it's not actual war. Oh, good. I was about to say. I know you were, Dave. Anyway, I think I'm just going to skip the line and get a table. So, would that be a metaphorical retreat? I prefer to think of it as guerrilla tactics. If he asks where I am, tell him I'm in medical. Filthy traitor. That'll learn it. Show that organ who's boss. Damn right. You've got to keep them in line. Sometimes instead of doing cardio, I just berate my heart for an hour. What do you mean, sometimes? Wouldn't that imply that you do cardio in the first place? For your information, routinely fleeing colorfully attired walls of muscle is a wonderful fitness routine. It's like Pilates for masochists. I feel like you don't know what Pilates are. All I know is that they usually involve a gym and yoga pants, and I can't see myself inside either of those things. Technically you're not wrong, and yet you're definitely not right. Still haven't made peace with the chef, huh? Nope. This is grade A eternal nemesis level conflict. We're destined to battle until the end of time. Yeah, well, I don't think that treacherous stomach of yours can last that long. Seriously, just have some of my... Well, gosh, Stan, you didn't tell me you made a new friend! It's a real pleasure to meet you, miss. I'm Dave, squad supervisor. Uh, good to meet you. I'm Kate. She's the rookie I guided around yesterday. It just happens that we have the same lunch block, so... Wait, are you still wearing that name tag? Oh, uh, yeah. Is that a problem? No, it's just that I don't think you have to anymore. That was a one-day thing. I guess not, but I'm still new, so it's easier for people to learn my name this way. Yeah, she's just being considerate, Stan. Gosh, you millennials have no manners. Dude, you're a millennial. I'm pretty sure I'm older than you. Oh god, I'm older than you. It's this social media. That's what my papa says. Everyone has to clap back or back clap or post little emojis of clapping. Yeah, I mean, if you're gonna clap, do it to my face, you cowards. Am I right? How dare you encourage this? Encourage what? A blossoming friendship? More like an unholy alliance. I think I was safer with Scorpion. You met Madame Scorpion? When? This morning. Stan had his big review. I made sure he was up extra early to prepare, though. So I'm sure he aced it. Right, buddy? Let's not get carried away. I survived. Well, don't sell yourself short, because that's not always the case. Believe me. So, now that you've seen her face to face, what do you think? Honestly, she's a bit enigmatic, which is weird to say because she spoke pretty directly with me towards the end there. It's just... it's 
clear that she knows more than she lets on. Not just about me, but everything. Like she's always calculating something. I don't know how else to describe it. Well, from what I've seen, that's not a bad way to put it. Pretty accurate, I'd say. I don't think describing something as enigmatic can be too accurate by definition. Can it? No, the other part. Calculating. What made you say that exactly? I'm not sure. Have you ever seen that thing in a movie or show where someone is thinking really hard and all these equations start appearing by their head? It feels like that. Except she seems like she's doing it without even trying. She can make math equations appear by her head? That's not what I expected her power to be at all. Yeah, that's it. Probably how she got away from Miss Dynamo. Just confused her with a bunch of math. You know, that might actually work. Right, good thinking, Stan. Maybe I should start carrying around a calculator. I'm not sure that would have the same effect. But anyway, I was just curious. I got a similar feeling about Madame Scorpion myself. Look, just be careful around her. I'm serious about what I said. Not everyone that walks into a room with Madame Scorpion walks back out. Why do you say that? Because it's the truth. At least I think. Look, this is just a rumor, but the word is that before she founded the Scorpion Group, she was basically the apex predator of the assassin world. That's how she got the money for it doesn't do it anymore, I don't think. I mean, that's the rumor, but you know what they say about old habits. You can't teach them new tricks. Sure, but mostly they just die hard. And for Scorpion, people die a lot more easily. Oh, okay, that makes more sense. My old habits die hard too. And sometimes I think I'm back on the farm. Today in the warehouse, I called the crate's hay bales by accident, and this other time, I thought someone's pet parakeet was a chicken. So what, you tried to take its eggs or something? No, my sister collected the eggs. My job was to butcher the ones we ate. That sounds pleasant. Hey, wait a second! Oh my god, you did it! Well, it looks like we finally solved the mystery of what happened to Lord Birdlum. It was an accident! It was just old habits, like you said! I think that crosses the line from habit to disorder. Although, now that I think about it, that's a pretty good example for this situation. Thanks, Dave. Oh, you're welcome, Kate! Just a little squad supervisor nugget of wisdom for you. I've got loads of them. I bet you do. So, basically, Stan, be careful around Madame Scorpion, or you could end up like Lord Birdlam. Delicious? Dead, Stan. Very dead. But luckily, the most dangerous thing that you'll encounter tonight are some bad dice rolls, right? True, though they'll be more dangerous for everyone else since... Wait, does this mean you're playing? It may, if your party has room for a paladin. You said they needed a tank, right? Yeah, that's perfect. Just a normal paladin, though? Anytime someone plays a paladin around here, they're usually a dark paladin instead. Because, you know. Oh, right. I mean, of course it's a dark paladin. I just figured that was obvious. Wasn't that obvious? Paladins? Dice rolls? What are you guys talking about? Wait! Oh, are you guys playing spells and swords tonight? Oh gosh, that sounds fun! Can I join?
I don't see why not. There's not a limit on players. As long as it's okay with Stan, of course. Sure, Dave. You can join the party. What class are you going to be? Yeah, I'm not sure. Is there a class that's kind of like a squad supervisor? That would work great! Sure, Dave. Yeah, I'm not sure. Is there a class that's kind of like a squad supervisor? That would work great! How about a cleric? They're sort of like a supervisor. So they make sure everyone is on time and focusing on their work? No, I mean they help support everyone and keep them feeling good. Supervisors aren't supposed to do that? <laughs> oh, Stan, it's okay. Being a squad supervisor is a complicated job. Not just anyone can understand how it works. But I don't really have a better idea, so I guess that'll work. So, uh, not to change topics or to kill anyone's enthusiasm, but I may have gotten ahead of myself about tonight's session. What's wrong? Is a dark paladin not villainous enough? Do I need to be a demon paladin or something? No, there's definitely enough villainy. It's just that something else happened in that review. The thing is, Madam Scorpion asked me to sign up for a henchcan gig. Tonight. Wow, that's great, Stan! As your squad supervisor, I'm proud of the recognition you're getting for your hard work and the recognition your squad and squad leadership will also get for helping you work so hard. Sure, sure. Thanks, man. Did she say what the job was? No. There's a few more details in the app. Here. 